And welcome to another episode of Experts Speak. I am Michael Delon. Today, I'm talking with John Dwyer. John, brother, thank you for, for being on my podcast today. Oh, thank you for the invitation. Well, you are welcome. It's going to be a, a, a wow experience. John is the founder <laughs> of the Institute of Wow. And uh, we've got a great conversation coming up. John is going to teach you how to give your prospects an incentive to buy. And um, it's going to be an amazing uh, conversation. So, John, tell me, how in the world did you get doing what you're doing today? Michael, firstly, uh, where you promised everyone who's watching this is going to be amazing. Of course, if it's not, I'll, I'll just let you down, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> I better be amazing. I better be amazing. You better be amazing. Yeah. Uh, Michael, look, uh, I, I kicked off uh, my advertising promotional career back in the 1800s. Okay, there's a few wrinkles here. <laughs> and um, yeah, I uh, I used to work for some of the big retailers down under in Australia in their advertising department. And I could see what they were doing all the time was price discounting. That's all they did to attract people. They just price discounted. And uh, a bit like Costco, I guess, you know, you'll see that Costco very, very, you know, 23 out of 24 hours a day are price discounting. And so I set up my own business. Uh, it was called the Dynamic Ideas Company at the time. And what we did is that we taught people how to you know, get away from price discounting and to value add. And of course, it's moved forward to now, you know, the era that we live in now, the digital era, is teaching both online and offline businesses just how to stop price discounting and take people's eyes off the price. I love it because, man, that is so when you start discounting your price, man, you're, you're in a, a spiral downhill and you don't want to go there. And there are yeah, and, and Michael, the other thing too is, is for small to medium sized businesses, if you think you're going to beat Costco on price, yeah, <laughs> or, or Walmart, you're not going to win. Not going to happen at all. And really, at the end of the day, your best customers are not price customers. They are the ones. Price customers will move away from you just as fast as they go to you, but the value customers keep coming back. And I know you've got some examples of that, but let's let's talk about giving prospects an incentive to to buy now now let, let me frame this a bit more because i want people to understand it's more than just buying your product it might be buying a presentation buying an appointment buying showing up at the appointment how do you get people engaged so that they're excited to do business with you you give them a wow experience and in a lot of value that's kind of what we're talking about right yeah thanks thanks michael uh, look my business uh it's a bit it's a bit wanky, but the name of the business is the Institute of Wow.com. And uh all of my buddies uh down under uh have businesses that are trades businesses. So they're concreters or they're builders or electricians. They've made fun of me for many, many years, Michael, the Institute of Wow. Yeah. They they they, they think I should take the W off the Wow. It should be the Institute of Wow, they reckon. Oh. Um, but in any case, look, given the name of our business, it's all about showing uh, business owners uh, and managers just how to create wow factors to take people's eyes off the price. Now, whether that's an insured price promotion to win a million dollars, uh, which we do for a lot of businesses whereby, you know, we can get a million dollars for about sixteen, seventeen thousand dollars from one of the big insurance companies and you pay the premium based on the uh, chance of somebody winning uh, or maybe gas discounts at the local petrol station. Uh, I know that in Canada and America, you guys call it gas, we call it petrol stations. Uh, it may well be that you put them on a reward system and when they actually buy a certain amount of, you know, there's a spend yeah. requirement, every time they spend $50, they get a point, they set up those points and they get movie vouchers or dining vouchers. The, the whole uh, premise of this is to give them an incentive that will take their eyes off the price. And you know what? 97% uh, of businesses have never given away an incentive because it's too easy just to price discount. Absolutely. And I love how you're saying they're take take their eyes off the price because when when you do that, you you start seeing, I mean, you've got great examples of like, you know, McDonald's when they when you know they used to sell hamburgers and then they started saying, Would you like fries with that? And yep. and and everything took off years ago. I remember Jay Jay Douglas Edwards, first sales trainer I ever learned from, that back in the day making milkshakes. And people would say, Do you want an egg in your milkshake? And everybody would say, Yeah, no. And then they switched the question and they would say one egg or two. It was yep. that simple, right? And that's kind of what, what you're bringing to the table is something else to add value so that I'm not focused on your price, but I'm focused on other things, right? Explain that just a little bit more. You got it. It's a distraction away from price. And that's what we all want to do, because if you're selling on price, then Costco and Walmart are definitely going to be whatever the 40 ton gorilla in your business is, they're going to beat you quite easily. And I'm glad you brought up McDonald's. I normally use that as the classic example, because uh, I've got six 
children. They're grown up now with their own little children. Uh, but for a lot of years, we had six very noisy children in a van. And uh, the best way to keep them quiet was to head towards the Golden Arches and McDonald's and buy six Happy Meals. And it had nothing at all to do with the hamburger. It had everything to do with the Disney toy. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And uh, I've worked out that over those years when we had six children uh, under 12 at one stage, we spent $7.8 billion on Happy Meals. <laughs> and <laughs> I, I could not tell you what a Happy Meal costs. Uh, and it was yeah. all about the free toy. And, uh, you know, Kellogg's have been doing the same thing for about 50 years. And I guess more recently in the last 10 years, Amazon uh, are a classic example because when they brought out their Prime Membership Club, then if you became a member, if you upgraded to become a Prime member, you got free shipping, free movies, free, mu free music, and so on and so forth. Uh, even the little cafe down the road from all of us probably has that little reward card where you get a, you know, you get a stamp every time you get a coffee, get 10 stamps, you get a free coffee. But you know what? It stops there. Hardly any business gives out incentives. And what our business is, the Institute of Wales, we show them how to use an incentive to attract people and then get them to come back more often. Yeah, I, th I think that's great because, the, uh, and I'm glad you said it because on the cards, you know, you go to uh, the ice cream shop or the coffee shop and and there there's not a big incentive. It's like, okay, if I'm here, I'll do it. And I might come back again, and, but I might not. I might go somewhere else. And it, But everybody is doing that exact same thing. You got to have my app or you got to have my thing. And there's really not much differentiation between all of those reward programs. And after a while, honestly, I get tired of them. It's like, no, I don't want to give you my stuff anymore. Just give me my food. And yeah. so that's that's kind of what you're talking about is a different experience. So, dare I say those reward programs are not wow experiences anymore, right? Yep. Yep. You, you do something a little bit different, right? Yeah, we're very special. <laughs> yeah, very, we're really, really special. Oh, gosh, I'm talking myself up, Michael. Um, yeah, look, uh, what we try and do, and again, it, it goes with the name, the Institute of WOW, I guess, but, you know, what we try and do is make sure that the the incentive, the giveaway, uh, is relatively unique and one that is hard to replicate. So uh, I walked into a sushi train uh, restaurant recently, and uh, you sit down with a little, you know, the sushi plates coming past you, and when I paid, they actually gave me points, and you cash those points, just like the coffee shop, into guess what more sushi now i've had enough sushi if they swap that from being more sushi to something that might have been a dining voucher that will be more powerful um i'm a member of a direct marketing association here down under and the promotions that win every time the academy awards at the end of the year for you know sales promotions are the ones where the incentives got nothing at all to do with price and the great example of that, of course, is McDonald's. What's it? Uh, sorry, they've got nothing at all to do with the product. So in other words, you don't give them more coffee. You don't give them more sushi. You give them a dining voucher or you give them a movie voucher or you give them a health gymnasium uh, voucher. Yeah. Um, and I guess it leads, Michael, to the point where I can really show off because uh, down under some years ago, I had a bank as a client and uh, they hand out money. Now, there's, there's no difference between one bank giving you uh, money, a half a million dollar home loan to another right. bank giving you half a million. The only difference is the price, the, the actual home loan interest rate. So what we did is that we stopped, I, I advised the bank as a, as a consultant to stop giving out that honeymoon rate, which they all do for the first year of a home loan. They give you a 1% break on, on the interest rate and give that to a travel wholesaler who I was doing infomercials for on television. And that travel wholesaler would give them, let's say a $5,000 vacation uh, for two and a half. So what we did is we came on television and social media and we said, get your home loan from the Greater Building Society, which was this particular bank, and you get a free vacation. So therefore, it was cost neutral because all they did was stop giving away the 1% honeymoon rate. They gave that to the travel company and they just blitzed it. They absolutely they took an extra $15 billion worth of home loans in the first few years. And this idiot who you're talking to didn't take a percentage. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This is a wow yeah. podcast. Wow. <laughs> yeah. And Michael, you go, wow, what an idiot. What a that's moron. Right. Yeah. Uh, that, yeah, that, that's in the, land, the end of our podcast. Yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. You're dealing with someone who is, I can't, I can't spell like you. I mean, how silly was that? So anyway, I had a consultancy fee and I saw this bank making gazillions and gazillions of dollars more out of home loans. And about four or five years into this campaign, uh, this is the part where I really show off. Uh, I got Jerry Seinfeld to be their spokesman. 
And uh, wow. that was a pretty, yeah, pretty big coup. And uh, I've milked the daylights out of that ever since, of course. Uh, so I would fly over to New York uh, for three years uh, in a row, and we would get Jerry to do the TV commercials where he would say, swap your home loan to the Greater Building Society and you get a free vacation. It took it to a whole new level once we had Seinfeld involved. You can imagine a free vacation and a superstar. Yeah. Anyway, as it turned out, uh, many years later, uh, I got contacted by a travel company, an international travel company, and they said, listen, uh, how about we join forces? You have a, an idea about marketing. Uh, we've got access to unsold hotel rooms right around the world. And these hotels are happy to give up the rooms for free in the hope that whoever stays there will spend money on you know, food and beverage. Uh, and obviously, this doesn't, uh, it's not available during school vacation times, but basically, outside of that, the hotels are running normally at about 30% vacancy. So they may as well give the room up and just pay the cleaning costs the next day in the hope that someone who stays there as a freebie guest is going to spend money on the cafe and the restaurant and room service. So that's what we've done. That is uh, something that we offer businesses now, which is uh, they can actually say to, their prospects buy my refrigerator or buy my lounge suite or use my landscaping services and you get a free vacation wow that that's that is very cool so um so so let's bring this down to my audience right so so for instance if you're a let's say you're an estate planning attorney right mm -hmm. somebody comes in and they, they either go to your workshop you could you could say hey if you attend my one day workshop at the end of the workshop you're going to have an estate plan set up for you and a free vacation or yeah. something like that. Is that kind of how it works? Yep, Michael, you've nailed it. It's as simple as that. And we try and convince business owners who want to complicate it. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just leave it. Just, uh, the reason it worked for the bank, and, and they were called the, the Greater Building Society, but they, they were virtually a bank. The reason it worked for them, it, it was nine words. We, we Every time they tried to screw with it, I would beg them. I'd say, no, no, leave it alone. Get a home loan and get a free vacation. That was it. Yeah. Uh, McDonald's, get a happy meal and get a free toy. Don't try and screw with it. So as long as that attorney or uh, or whoever the business owner is uh, knows that their main aim in their instance, it might be to get leads. I mean, we give these, oh, this is what it looks like, by the way, I'm trying to exhibit A here. So it's about to look like that. And they see all the wonderful places they can go to on the back right around the world. I mean, we're talking Vegas and New York and uh, New Orleans and Orlando and Cancun and Europe and Australia, all sorts of places around the world. There's a hundred destinations. So as long as they say, look, uh, book an appointment with me and see if I can actually do this, this and this for you. And I will give you one of these vouchers. Now, these vouchers are valued. They're three night vouchers in America. They're valued up to a thousand dollars. We give it to them for, wait for it, less than fifty dollars. OK, uh, and therefore they hand this to someone. The difference between giving them a $50 dining voucher and this is that a $50 dining voucher, they know that you've valued their customer $50. You give them this, it may only cost you $50, but they know that it's valued up to a thousand. That's yeah. where it's special. Right. And and that, that and so so let me let me bring this down to my level as I've understood this, as I as I've talked with you and looked at the vouchers and everything. Um the the let's say you give this voucher away it costs the business owner like 50 bucks ish to to buy yep. one of these vouchers in in bulk of like 20s or whatever but yep. you give them away somebody can take a a vacation and let's say i, I live in kentucky let's say i want to go to cancun and i want to yep. go there for four days and i go on and i book it i'm not paying for the hotel in cancun you you've you've paid for the hotel i go there i fly there i gotta pay for the flight but I'm at this hotel, this beautiful resort. I'm going to eat their food. I'm going to drink at the bar. I'm going to do the. That's where they're making the money on these unsold rooms, right? You got it, Michael. And look, we like, explain we explain that all the time because it sounds like one of those too good to be true offers. You think, oh, I'm going to get there. There'll be a vacant block of dirt there. <laughs> yeah, or, or or dare I say, a timeshare offer, right? There's none of that. <laughs> no, that's the thing. I was like, oh no. Well, it's funny, you know, how these guys. Uh, from the travel company uh, contacted me. They saw the Seinfeld campaign. It's pretty hard to keep that a secret when you've got Jerry doing your advertising. And they said, look, uh, you know, would you like to be involved? And I jumped at it and said, yeah, look, I know I could put my wow factor stuff to it. And I said, but I'm going to run at 100 miles an hour the other way if there's timeshare presentations because nobody wants to give one of these out and then their customers have to sit down in a room for three hours. So they said, no, 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 none of that. All it is is purely and simply the hotels realise that outside of school vacations, they're running at about a third of their rooms are vacant. They, may, they, they don't want to drop their prices and look like they're desperate because that hurts their brand. Right. So what they're happy to do is to give these things to businesses to hand out as, let's call it a Happy Meal toy, 
and give it to their customers when they buy you know, the products or services, because guess what? Then it's under the radar. The hotel's filling their rooms, but not destroying their brand. And so right. therefore they're very happy for people to come along, stay in those rooms for free in the hope there's no condition, but in the hope they'll spend money on food and beverage. Yeah. And it's really no different really conceptually than the, the tire store for your car who sells three, you know, buy three, get one free. In a yeah. sense, it's the same concept. It's an incentive where my eyes are not on the price. I'm saying, wow, what a value, what a deal I'm interested. That's really what, what you offer business owners is this, this free vacation voucher that you can offer somebody yep. to, to help them make an appointment, get to the appointment or buy from you. Or you could give it to somebody who refers business. So you could do you could do all kinds of things with this once you get the understanding that there's no bait and switch. These are reputable hotels in really nice locations. And I, I think business owners should jump on this and, and, and connect with you and try it themselves. And then they're going, their eyes are going to open up when they realize this thing really works. Yeah. Yeah. And, and look, I know that, um, uh, that when, I mean, I've been in the marketing game for a thousand years, so I've seen every travel scam there is. Okay. Yeah. So over the years when I've seen all of these things, I, uh, I, I was very skeptical of this when they contacted me for that reason, but I turned it upside down. Uh, there are some very fair conditions. Uh, the hotels yeah. have got to win out of this. You've got to win out of it and you want your customers to win. So it's a, I know it sounds corny, but it's a win, win, win. Uh, so the thing is, is that because when you book your vacation, you'll go through an Expedia style you know, booking platform, uh, then there's a nightly uh, booking fee because Expedia are not going to do it for free, of course. Right. And uh, and you don't want to send your customers through a Filipino call center to book their vacation. That'd be silly, right? So therefore, the Expedia platform charges a nightly booking fee. Now, that'll be somewhere between $25 and $50 normally. Uh, but that's the only expense that your customers will have when you give them this voucher. Uh, and just one more thing, too, on that, Michael, is that the way I look at this is that when people say to me, uh, what's the right incentive for my business? I say, well, one that is appealing to your target audience. It'd be no use uh, a, a retailer giving me a skateboard. I would right. kill myself, all right? So therefore, uh, in the game of looking for incentives that have a wide demographic appeal, uh, appeal, then movie vouchers and, and gas vouchers normally come out in front. Why? Because they've got a wide demographic appeal. This blitzes them like 20 or 30 or 40 times over. This has not only got a wide demographic appeal to a 20-year-old and an 80-year-old, but also it's you know, a very modest investment of, let's say, around $50 for something that you're going to give them that could be valued up to $1,000. That's why it wins. Yeah. yeah. And and the other cool things that, the, and people can learn all this on your website that we'll give them a minute, is that um, you've got like 18 months to use this thing. So it's not like I have to, I have to travel in this little tiny window. No, I've got like 18 months to figure out where I want to go and all of that. So it gives you a lot of flexibility the resorts are beautiful they're in great destinations places you're going to want to go anyway and yeah. uh, i just think it's one of the coolest things i've heard of because i i too am skeptical john right and that's why you and i have had a couple conversations before you got here to go okay help me understand this thing what is this and yeah. um, some other people have have uh, vouched for you and they said no john's really a stand-up guy so yeah you know, well and b b by the way i paid those people that's uh, <laughs> to say that <laughs> Well, it's a good thing. I tell you, John, you and I could probably talk about this a lot, but I think one of the best things somebody could do is is just probably, I guess, go to your website or something. Where Where's the next step for a business owner who's thinking, okay, this is a little, I don't really know. I got to learn. The, where Where would they go? Uh, look, I've got too much money, Michael, so I won't send them anyway. I've just, you know, I've got my private island and my air, my airline. <laughs> Love it. Wouldn't that be funny if one time you did one of these uh, one of these, you know, sort of uh, podcasts, and someone said, "No, nah, I've got too much money. I, I won't send them anywhere." Um, uh, with having six children, I can tell you, and they're growing up now. No, I don't have too much money. They took it all. The they kids took it took all. It all. That's yeah. It. Um, yes. Uh, look, a couple of websites they could go to for the vacations. One to have a look at all the destinations around America uh, and the world. And by the way, you're quite right. These des these hotels, uh, pretty much most of them are four star TripAdvisor. Uh, rated yeah. so that then <laughs> you won't turn up to an rv park all right um uh vacationsincentive.com so if you go to vacationsincentive.com you'll see the entire promotion there so it's vacations plural vacationsincentive.com uh but when you go there you'll see that the price tag for the vacations is 97 dollars 
we'll cut that in half, okay, because of the, the association that we have. So if they go there uh, and they're interested in it, they'll see all of our contact details there. Um, the only other place that they might like to go is the instituteofwow.com. And I guess you put this in the comments box yep. anyway. And if anyone wants to say hello to me, uh, it's john at the instituteofwow.com. That's awesome. Very simple. Very exciting. I want to encourage my audience just to go to these, the, and I'm going to have both those in the show notes, vacationsincentive.com and then uh, the instituteofwow.com because this really is a cool way to uh, get your eyes off the price. Um, I, I don't know, John, if you remember this, years and years and years ago, McDonald's had a commercial, TV commercial about their French fries. And they had a song, a jingle that would say, take your eyes off or yeah, take your eyes or keep your eyes on your fries. They are too hard to resist. Keep your <laughs> eyes. Right. I did that. That started going through my head when you said, take their eyes off the price. You know, you could create a whole jingle around this, John. But hang, hang on, uh, Michael, just let me get that down. And uh, you will but, not be charging a fee for that because no, I want a royalty on that one. <laughs> this is only this is an open forum. We're just discussing ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's great, John, to help people take their eyes off the price by giving your prospects an incentive to buy. Uh, John at the Institute of Wow.com and vacationsincentive.com. We're going to have that in the show notes. John, this has been a phenomenal uh, Wow Experience podcast. I appreciate you and, and how you are helping business people really generate more revenue by being a blessing to their audience. Thanks for being here, my friend. My pleasure, Michael. And as my auntie Teresa used to say, well, Mother Teresa to you, um, I live to give. I love it. We'll end up there. Thanks for listening to Expert Speak. Tune in again next week for another wow episode. <laughs> See you, buddy.